Research might explain the link between the COVID-19 vaccines and rare cases of heart inflammation. A new study suggests it may come down to the location of the needle. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how the study is sparking debate over whether providers should adjust how they give the shots. Ever wonder why healthcare workers have you roll up your sleeve to get a COVID vaccine? It's because the shot is designed to go into your muscle, not a blood vessel. And the shoulder has relatively few blood vessels to worry about. But newly published research shows what can happen when a COVID vaccine winds up in the wrong spot. Scientists in Hong Kong did experiments on mice. When they intentionally injected the mice in a vein, not the muscle, they found some of the vaccine got carried to the heart and caused inflammation, a condition called myocarditis. The researchers suggested the same thing might be causing the rare cases of myocarditis in humans. I think this is an important study because it gives us one possible mechanism that we can try to chase down. UC San Diego professor Dr. Robert Schooley is the editor-in-chief of the journal that published the study. And the reason that's important is that we have a way that we can uh, potentially reduce that risk by pulling back on the plunger. The authors proposed a simple safety measure. It's called aspirating the needle. Basically, it just means after injection, pulling back on the stopper. The idea is that if you're in a vein, the healthcare worker will be able to see blood in the syringe and they'll know to stop before sending in any mRNA. This technique used to be widespread, but in the last decade, many countries like the U.S. stopped using it for a few reasons. It complicates the injection process a bit because you have to leave the needle in longer. You have to pull back, it gets jiggled around a little bit, it's more painful, and, and, and it's just been found that the, the potential benefit of trying to avoid that and do that is, has not been worth it. Dr. Kirk Knowlton says tweaking the injection method sounds simple, but it would require lots of new training, and it's not clear how effective the technique really is. He says the way we inject vaccines now is overwhelmingly safe. Myocarditis only happens about two out of every 100,000 injections. And on top of that, it's typically mild and goes away fast. I think that gives us pause before we drastically and dramatically change our overall strategy. But some experts think it's worth experimenting with vaccine aspiration to get more definitive answers. I think that the inconvenience of it is actually relatively minimal. We've got the personnel to do it, and it would be an opportunity to determine whether or not this hypothesis see if that's true. The new study on mice has prompted Denmark and Hong Kong to begin pulling back the stopper when they inject vaccine. But Dr. Schooley says he's not aware of any studies underway in the U.S. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Another study by researchers in Germany linked accidental injection into the vein to rare cases of blood clots. They also recommended that healthcare workers pull back on the stopper after injection.